This is a video I believe that will show you three simple steps that you can follow that can help you guarantee you accomplish your New Year's journey. I'm going to be doing that and I hope that you do it as well. So with that being said, let's start off with step number one. Yeah, so we're about to keep changing it. What's going on, man? We yo, out yo, yo, what's going on? We out there, man. Uh, just drove about an hour. Uh, like the fucking mountain range. Oh, wait. Yo, bleep that out. Hold up. <laughs> We a family channel, my bad. <laughs> it was faster than I thought. We got here like Speedy Gonzalez. Now you probably have heard this before, but I decided to take this concept and change it in a way that I believe not only makes you more accountable, but also gives you the opportunity to see the progress that you're doing every single day. And that is to write a schedule, but not a normal schedule, not a Google calendar schedule, not a schedule on your phone, but an actual written out figure description of your schedule. Uh, right now, right now, as you're seeing through the video on the clip, you will see a written out schedule with some very, very messed up boxes. But don't pay attention to that. Pay attention to the fact that I have from day one to day 32, and I've structured it into things that I wanna make sure I do every single day. And I make sure that when I do it that day, I mark it off. And what's so important about this is that it allows you to see a physical representation, a physical, visual piece of paper that shows you the progress that you do from day one to day two to day three to day four and with that you can see how consistent you are with certain things and how inconsistent you are with others and that allows you to basically tweak whatever it is that you're doing in order to really accomplish the things that you're having trouble with camera is it for, for the viewers oh it's a fuji it's a fuji film e4 well x e4 so i mean this thing has so much things that it's like it's so overwhelming but at the same time it's like you don't really need anything else when it comes to like film but i don't know i actually I, I actually like film so it's this compared to like actual film with film i don't have to worry about it but you have to put it in there and like just shoot with this one i have to like I'm able to see how it looks, and if I don't like it, I have I can't reshoot it, which it annoys me. So it's like I don't really fucking I don't like that part of digital, that it makes me reshoot and try to get the perfect picture. With film, I can just shoot and like let it be, and it's like more like free than just fucking shooting all the time and trying to get the fucking perfect picture. But it's cool. It's the like it, the it's, struggles of a photographer. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I just went on a fucking rant about fucking digital and film. But, I mean, it, both of them have its own type of, like, benefits in a way. So, I just enjoy film more than digital. But I don't have any film anymore, so I have to use my digital. But, yeah. Now, you're probably wondering, how does this really work, though, right? I'm just going to write these random things that I want to do throughout the day and just magically I'm going to be able to be disciplined and accountable. Yes, actually, it is pretty that easy. You see, one of the things I've recognized within myself is that in my process of self-improvement, I'm learning that the more complex I think the problem is, the more things I believe I need to fix within myself, the more I ignore the simple things I could be doing every single day that will truly benefit me in the long run. You see, just like you, I'm tired of making a New Year's resolution and not succeeding. So I've decided to become my own drill sergeant, my own tyrant, not really tyrant, I don't want to really punish myself, but more so my own judge. And if you're tired as well as me, then I promise you every day, if you mark and keep yourself straight when it comes to the schedule you will see the progress and it will motivate you to do more with that being said we got step two now this one is going to really really um offend a couple people but that's fine because if it offends you that means i'm saying something that is truthful you see a lot of people need to understand that a harsh truth is worth more than a beautiful lie. Second step is understanding that comfort is the killer of growth. You see, one of the biggest issues that we have is that we will rather sacrifice 
who we could be, how better we can become for the comfort of the now, for the things we can do now and then put off later. And what I recognize within myself, right? Because I can't be telling you guys this and trying to motivate you to take these steps if I'm not doing it myself. I recognize within myself that there are days, there are times where I will rather take comfort over the better version of myself. You know how frustrating that can be? I mean, we all have had it. We've all had days where we wake up, we say we're gonna do this, we're gonna go to the gym, we're gonna work on this essay, we're gonna go to work and be on time or be early. And next thing you, next thing you know, we wake up and we don't do those things. We wake up and we do it half-assed. And I'm tired of that. And the way to overcome that is to visualize yourself visualize the ideal version the one who has a six-pack who has money who's financially free who has the relationship they might want who wants to, who has the life that they want imagine that person right as you're listening to me imagine that person and now think that every time you open up a bag of chips every time you lay down on a couch every time you take a nap instead of doing that homework you are going backwards from that person you're taking steps actively going backwards instead of forwards. You don't want that. I don't want that. So let's understand that choosing comfort is truly the killer of our own growth. So what you should do. I'm shooting little trees and I'm just testing out a new camera, Sony A7 III. Got my contacts G1 with me. A um, little camcorder in my pocket too, you look strapped up. Um, but yeah, man, it's trying to this is nice, beautiful fall, uh, weather. Finally, if you reach this far, you're here to listen to the third step. It seems like you, if you made it this far, truly want to listen and truly want to hear how these things can help you. And for that, I commend you. I give you an applaud. I tell you, like I would tell anybody else that I care for, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for at least trying to take a step, at least trying to find the information that will take you from here to here. And with that being said, the third step to completing our New Year's resolution this upcoming year is understanding that we need to find joy in our improvement. Now, what do I mean by that? Joy does not mean in a week from going to the gym I now have a six pack. Joy in our improvement does not mean that once I work hard enough and I get this paycheck, I can chill out and call out for the next two days. Working hard and finding enjoyment in that hard work and in that improvement allows us to keep going. You see, just like you and just like myself, there has been times in my life where I have done the hardest work I could have done and I feel accomplished and I feel fulfilled. And then after that, woo, nosedive. All that motivation, all that drive, all that joy is gone. Why? Because I completed the goal. I set a goal for myself, I completed it, and now I didn't set another goal right after. You see, what we want truly is a big goal. We want the big accomplishment. But we, what we don't recognize is that every time we accomplish a big accomplishment, there's nothing else. Now imagine, instead of making a big goal, you decided to make small goals every single month, every single week, and every single day. Every time you would complete them, you would feel good about yourself. And I'm not talking about an extravagant goal. I'm not talking about something that's hard to do. Just for the simple fact of hitting the gym today. Let's say that's your only mission for the day, to go to the gym. Or your only mission is to at least read two pages of that paper that you know you've been procrastinating on. If you were to do that, you would see that, wow, two pages every single day would get me to 30 pages a week. And the next thing you know, I read this paper that I thought was extremely long in a matter of a week and a half. Or if you were to go to the gym every single day, regardless of what you did, you would develop the discipline to actually start going whenever it is that you want. That is fun. That brings enjoyment. We know there's been moments in our lives where we have been disciplined. We've been on the ball. 
every single day for every single week. But then we lose it. Everybody here, including myself, is looking for tools to make sure that we don't lose it. And I believe these are the three things that will get us there. So with that being said, if you reach the end of this video, leave a comment and tell me three things you want to accomplish for the next new year. And a year from now, I want you to take those three things, right? Write them down somewhere on a wall, put them on a wall or something. And once you do that, a year from now, come back to this video. I mean, I'm going to post another video, obviously, a year later to see my own progress too. But come back a year later and see if you accomplish those things. And with that being said, my name is Miguel Reyes. Thank you guys for watching. And I want to leave you with this. Hard work and discipline are the things that bring true freedom in our own individual lives. Peace.